remains of an ancient river that existed here in this spot 115 million years ago. Uh, how many of you guys know your time periods? <laughs> Me. Do you know the three time periods of the Mesozoic era? No? No, I'm only dead gray. All right. Well, okay, so, uh, so let's start at the end of the Permian. So the Permian period ended about 252 million years ago with the largest extinction that ever occurred on Earth. T-Rex? That, no, that's no, long T before T-Rex. It killed 90% of life. But anyway, after the Permian period, the Triassic began. And the Triassic lasted until 201 million years ago. And uh, then the Jurassic period, which started uh, then and ended at 145 million years ago. Where we are is about 40 million years after the uh, years after Stegosaurus and about 50 million years before T-Rex. And then after T-Rex appeared, three million years passed, the extinction at the end of the Cretaceous and another 75% of life died. 66 million years later, I'm here telling you that. Time periods are long, right? So yeah, again, early Cretaceous period. Let's read it. So this mural in front of me, um, if you can see past all the stuff on the table, is what it looked like back then. It was a it was a uh, coastal redwood forest filled area. The, the carbonized remains, the trees that you see. Uh, I am not. And you will find this. This there's a 100% chance all of you are going to find their night today. Again, this is just carbonized woods, low grade form of coal. It's everywhere, and we don't really care what happens to it. If it breaks, that's tough. It's okay. We have like, three buckets of stuff in their shit. You know, so if you find a good piece about the size of the palm of your hand, each one of you is welcome to take a piece home. Don't go in the Again, you don't line. care what happens to it. All we ask is you don't, like, actively find, like, like four foot logs of it and dig it out. We don't, we don't want to do that. Um, also, we have a lot of this stuff. <laughs> So that is called the yeah, is called ironstone. That, that's not the heavy. That's the ball. Ironstone is a dense oh, a pipe. orange rock most of the time. And it contains a lot of the metal iron in it, and that's why it's really heavy. Um, if you look over there in the hill, you see plenty of our rocks are Andy, Andy. And now ironstone is interesting. This stuff used to be the mud and bacterial sludge that's at the bottom of rivers and lakes. And it tries to take the shape of things that it touched before it becomes rocks. So every piece of ironstone is going to be a record of anything it touched. Um, let me show some examples. It's an iron stone. Find it. It's heavy. Yeah. So, it's heavy. Yeah. So, 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 here, in this case, we have pine cones from the trees that used to be here. And those are made of the pine cone. Those, those are made of the iron stone. And here, in this yeah. case, we have a crocodile tooth. Well, you cannot go in there. A piece of iron stone. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Huh? So I know like so yeah. close to that. You can always look at these cases anytime you're down here. Um, so yeah, ironstone, if you find a good piece, it's not heavy. Like, if it's not too heavy, it's light. You can pick it up, look all over it, because you might find something. Anyway, let's talk about the dinosaurs. You guys like dinosaurs? I do. Anyone, any, any of you guys wanting to be a paleontologist when you grow up? No. No? No. I don't even know. It's a person who studies ancient life. So anyway, um, let's talk about dinosaurs. So the first dinosaur I want to talk about is this skull here. That's so, a really small Yeah, it's a really small dinosaur. It's called Aquilops. Can everyone say Aquilops? Aquilops. Here's a picture of it. It's actually quite adorable. Yeah, so cute. So the Quilops, 
which means eagle face. Yeah. You know, every dinosaur has a name that means something. This is eagle face. And this dinosaur is actually in the same family as Triceratops. It's a very early member of that group. And at this time, they're really small and ran on two legs. And they didn't have any horns, but they had a beak and they had a very thin layer of bone on the back of the skull which will later extend as the species as they evolve and will help, will have a protective bony shield to protect its neck. So really amazing dinosaur. The next dinosaur we have is the other pair we have here. This is called Preconodon. Preconodon is one of these. It's called a Notosaur Ankylosaur. Now, notosaurs are ankylosaurs that don't have a tail club with any of their tail. They make up for it by being quite small. And at 30 feet long, this dinosaur is bigger than most of its cousins. And those spikes on its, on its, uh, on its uh, back there, they're about as long as me. So quite oh my. Now, just yeah. by the sheer yeah. amount of teeth that we have found, we believe that this dinosaur may have lived in and around water like a hippo, because many of the teeth, we are, yeah, they were quite big. Okay, okay. Pretty amazing dinosaur.